My goodness, guys, these conservative investors out there, they seem to be much more sensitive than you would have ever imagined. With the Federal Reserve coming out and saying that they would be willing to raise rates faster than expected or faster than previously done, uh, the whole market decides to tank. Literally, Jerome Powell said at his last like four press conferences that the Federal Reserve will be willing to do whatever it takes depending on the current situation, at the current time of the interest rate hike, and based on information available at that time. Literally, they will be acting nimbly, and they will be acting on data. They didn't say that we're going to raise interest rates by a quarter of a percent uh, at every Fed meeting. We're never going to go anything above that. But every time this seems to be mentioned, boom, the stock prices start falling, the, the indexes, they start falling, and it really shows how much fear is still left in the market. And guys, I absolutely want to talk about this and how it's affecting the price of AMC stock and you know how it relates to, to why AMC has been getting hit so hard recently. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit gets you guys five free stocks. Any $1 crypto trade, $5 in free crypto, and you get crypto exclusive exchanges down there as well. But with the amount of fear that is in the market right now, Anybody that is not buying AMC stock for a short squeeze, anybody that would not be considered an ape in this AMC stock movement, man, they get out. They get out at any sign of trouble. And it is extremely evident by, by the amount of sell-offs that you see in the entire market. Now, I know that pretty much everybody else you're going to watch on Twitter, YouTube, anywhere is, is going to tell you that it's just manipulation. Every time the stock price goes down, it's being manipulated lower and so on. But guys, with the amount of fear that, that investors are facing right now, it, it's, it's going to be very difficult to rebound the way that we were going up in, in throughout the end of 2020 and all of 2021. Since the Fed started talking about inflation and interest rates and so on, towards the end of 2021, I believe it was November, we've seen a steep decline. And the declines far outpace the, the advances. This is not just exclusive to AMC stock. If the stock price is going down, if the index is going down, it's, it's much more sensitive to that downside than it is to a rebound. We could have great news, but people are still on the edge of their seats. As soon as something is mentioned about inflation or recession or, or you know something unknown, like how we're going to raise interest rates to fight inflation and the causes of, or the, I guess, the effects of raising these interest rates and so on. <laughs> I don't care what they blame it on at this point. I don't care if they blame it on, you know, COVID and the supply chain issues that may have, have spawned from that. I don't care if they blame it on the fact that they printed trillions and trillions of dollars and inflation is because of that. I don't care what they blame it on at this point. We have inflation and we need to get that inflation under control or all of a sudden, you know, we're going to be rolling into 2023. Inflation is going to be at 50%. You guys are paying $10 for a gallon of milk. You're going to McDonald's and the dollar menu became a $3 menu and inflation can absolutely run wild. Now, interest rates, that's how the Fed, that's the only tool other than, you know, bonds and buying and selling bonds. That's the only tool that the Fed really has at their disposal. And we know based on the last Federal Reserve meeting, that the Fed is going to be using all of the tools that they have available in order to fight rising inflation rates. Now, probably the most efficient is going to be increasing interest rates along the way. This is going to be difficult for stocks because if inf if interest rates are rising, you would expect the bond rates to be rising and so on. And safe money, that conservative money, that money that never wants to lose, runs over to bonds, savings accounts, CDs, and so on because rates are rising there. Now, it's very, it's very difficult to see this happening in AMC because 90% is owned by retail. Right. And a lot of people assume that that 90 percent 
is 100% apes. 100% short squeeze investors. 100% people who were willing to buy and never willing to sell. You guys, I can't stress it enough that that is not the case. There are so many day traders, so many swing traders, so many retail investors who've never even heard of a squeeze that are buying and selling shares of AMC on a daily basis. And there are so many people that are still looking to the Federal Reserve and these conservative or typical investors that are buying AMC at this point that are just as scared as the rest of the market and just as touchy. And great news, can it can cause a, a little bit of a bump. Not so great news can cause a 10% decline. You know, like we've been seeing over the last couple of weeks. And I know the last couple of weeks hasn't been all on reliance to, especially in AMC. It hasn't all been in in regards to the Federal Reserve raising interest rates and the comments that were made, right? We, we run up to $34. The volatility comes in and we sell off the rest of last week. We start this week. It's a, it's a bad week so far. It's been a lot of bloody days in AMC stock and we haven't had that many bloody days in the overall market right now. But we will be retesting some levels of support around $20 per share. If it holds up, guys, we could absolutely have good news in front of us and good days ahead of us. We just have to, we have to hold out. You know, if you can't take the volatility in AMC, if you can't take the ups along with the downs or the downs along with the ups, you know, there's something wrong with your position at that point. If you're not willing to hold it, you know, maybe you're a trader. If you're not willing to hold it, maybe you have too many shares. If you're not willing to hold it or you can't sleep at night, there you might be overexposed. This is not going to play out easily. They are not just going to hand us billions and billions of dollars. We have to make sure that we are here for the long haul and we will not be giving up. And with that being said, I do not care what anybody in the Federal Reserve says about inflation, about interest rates. I am in AMC for an AMC stock short squeeze. I care about the short numbers that are out there and the short interest numbers that are out there and when those shorts go to cover. I want to know what you guys care about down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the about the short squeeze, whether you're concerned about days like today when the market is down 2%, AMC stock is getting hit pretty hard as well. Do you think it's just another day with these conservative investors and these safe investors, or do you guys truly believe that it's some sort of manipulation and corruption? Let me know down in the comments below. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram, we will binance, Gemini, crypto.com. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.